Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Neil Aus and we are back here where we left off on our icy planet far away from everything. And thank you very much everyone for sort of supporting the idea and sort of getting on board on it with the exchanger idea. I'm not arguing that it's the best damn thing since sliced bread. I don't know why sliced bread is a good thing, but uh, it, it is a really cool thing. It looks absolutely amazing and it's so much more unique than just some spinning artificial suns that are not even suns because they are antimatter. So that's not how suns work. Anyway, uh, one thing I'd like to... Oh, faster drones, nice. One thing I'd like to clarify is that some of the comments were like, oh, but it doesn't work if you need 10 gigawatts. No, of course it doesn't work because this is for remote planets only. And it's for setting up a small industry here that I want to do. And that's uh, for that, it is absolutely brilliant. So that's what I want to do. Now, why did we come to Arthur Dent out here in the fringe worlds of the galaxy? Well, it's because of the unipolar magnet and I have just taken the time to set up these four locations for unipolar magnets so that they are farming now and ready to go. So we don't have to do that. Hope you appreciate that. And then that means we can start working on the actual designs that will be using the unipolar magnets. Now, unipolar magnets are used for two things and two things only. This is the color we choose. If we make this icy planet into nice sandy beaches. That seems reasonable, doesn't it? Here, and I will need to take this one just to get the, a sense of the meridians. These are the meridians, just done by three, and that should get all the way over to that one as well. So now we have the meridians clarified, and that means I can take here. That's the meridian, and here. Right, so what, <clears throat> what can we use it for? We can use, actually, can I do that? Can I, no, I can't. I can't click those out there. So that one, 10 plus two. So this is then, now that we have a question, should I export the 10 Europolar magnets to somewhere and then make the, somewhere where I have the copper and then it's close to the vent. I don't want to do that. I actually want to say, I want to import the copper and then add this because then I import two and export one instead of exporting 10. I think that's a good deal. Granted, of course, I will also need to use these uh, unipolar magnets for the new plane smelter. That needs 15, so that's a lot. And we do need to, to build those as well. But that's, uh, that's a much smaller quantity, I hope. I think, I think it's a much smaller quantity. But that doesn't matter. We are going to be building these because we need to build first. And foremost, we need to build the particle container. That's what we want to do. Because if we build particle container with unipolar magnets, then particle container, it solves two of our worst bottlenecks, usually when scaling up the base. Particle containers are awful. One of the reasons why they're awful is because they rely on graphene and also on the electromagnetic turbine, which is a complicated build that's really hard to just keep scaling up. So this one completely neg negates the part that about the electromagnetic turbines, which means that frees up for other things. Don't exactly know. Well, actually, it's, it means that the only thing that we really need the electromagnetic turbines for is for the belts. It is one of those. Uh, it's solders and reinforced thrusters. Yeah, yeah, a few of those things, but primarily for super magnetic rings. And that means this one is now cut out by changing to this formula. So how do we want to do this? Well, 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 well. Let's see if I can find a good idea about this. Let's start by making a an assembler here. We'll make it here. It's always going to be a good place to start. And I want to have here. So how many? This takes 10 every four seconds. And since it's crafting speed 1.5, it takes 15 every four seconds. So if I do, then that takes 15 every second. That means here, this one will take a full belt of unipolar magnets. That's actually quite a lot. So let's keep that in mind on how we want to do that. <clears throat> so what I could do was, I could say that I want, oh, I haven't set it up here. This will be here and unipolar and copper. All right, that's it. So what if I take copper out here and get it back? 
And then obviously, oops, that's not the button I wanted to press. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And then I can take that one. Go along here. Let's go along here. Let's go back. This. You. Oh, I do need one at the back. Uh, I was kind of hoping that I could... Wouldn't need to have one at the back, though. But I do. Two lanes here. And another line. And then, unfortunately... Let me see. The top one is the copper. That one. And then go return. You are not welcome. You're welcome. Get to the back. You're not welcome. There. Actually, you are, but you just have to be placed correctly. There. And then I need another one. Unipolar magnets on the side. I hope I have room for it. Yeah, okay, I do. And... No, it has the lower one has to be the return one. That's the return. And then copper. There. That should be correct. Let's get this inbound. Um, in? Oh. In. They don't need to grab from both. And this is... Out. In. In and out. In and out. Hold on. Shouldn't that be the same? Yeah, it should be. Whoops. It should be the same. So that one goes in here. That one goes in here. And then we can just... How should we build it? One, two, three, and four. Easy to do. Let's build another one. How many power poles do we need for this? That should be fine. Here. All right, another one. So the question now is, uh, do I want it mirrored or do I want it? <clears throat> Man, I, I know what I want, but I don't like it. I want it mirrored. I absolutely want it mirrored because it looks better that way. So this one. Oh, lack of item. Silly us. Let's get more of these as well. Okay. Try again. Yeah. I am almost certainly going to mess this up when I when I do this. And then take this out. Get that one. Because then it will actually tell us exactly what we want for each row. That one. And Whoa. Whoa, 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 what happened? What happened? Oh, right, the see, I already messed it up. I already messed it up. Uh, okay, so it goes copper. Oh, right, 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 yep. Yep. It's because I wanted it to be mirrored, which is not a good thing. I wonder if when we get the blueprints, we will get the ability to mirror. We probably won't, but it would be nice, though. It would be nice. that one and then I need to figure out this is the so the top one is now the return that's return and this will will be copper good another row and then one two three and the top one is returning And then the copper comes out once more. Good. And then all we need is just the inbounds and outbounds here. 
This is the easiest, and here I'll have. Let me see. In, out, in, out. Got it. I'm gonna miss this part when we have blueprints. This part is so lo so lovely. And let's see if I can power this with two power poles as well. I'm not sure. I can try it. Looks like it. Maybe some up top are not filtered correctly. Nope, everything is good. All right, cool. Let's uh, put some drones in. Drones here, drones there. Do I need, yeah, I do need some warpers as well, unfortunately. And this one only take big ones. There. Warpers, 100. Demand, there. These two will just fill up and deliver. This will be 200 and local demand. This one will be both local and global. Yeah. Only local and both local and global. And then I'll just build one more little thing here because I do have a bit of copper. So I, maybe I can just alleviate some of the transport because the transport is super far. Um, let's not do that. I was about to copy paste and that would be a bad idea. So what I'm just going to make is just a little copper smelter so we can take that as well. And yeah, let's do that and then come back. And so we built this one and as you can see all the robots are flying back and forth and my teeny tiny copper deposit if you look at the planet it only has like uh what is it like 1.4 million copper it's not much the problem is it's only five batches so it's uh, i can't mine it very fast i can mine it somewhat this one can keep going there will be some coming in it's only taking local and that will be creating some and as you can see here these will be going in to these locations and not a single one has been made because I don't even have the copper coming in yet even despite the fact that I have to build all of this first they will probably come in soon but you can see the copper is starting to come in from this location let me see is this these are all set to full yes they're all set to full excellent and actually let's just bump these up so that they are at full charge rate and now we can see that this is going up that's excellent one of the things that i want to test test here is to see whether okay you can see how much of a gap it turns out how much power it actually charges takes out. oh it looks like we are in trouble when it comes to power um that's only going to be like a temporary thing as this one charges and it will be sending out another one right now will it not nope not yet how much does it need to go to three oh three gigajoules of energy well, that's probably not even much for a vessel flying at interstellar distances. But you can see things are starting to accumulate here. And it'll just be transported over here. Every time this drops by 100, it'll send a request here. And not out to the faraway location. So that is actually super handy. And once this one starts filling up, then we can see that charging will commence or will continue. There we go. 100%. Everything is working. What we wanted to see was whether this one when it hits 1000 it will be picked up immediately it should be i hope i would imagine no i don't really know i don't even think so that would imply that i'm actually in the shortest of these uh, particle containers and i don't think i am i don't think i'm in a part in a shortage but let's see it anyway we want to see if it uh, disappears or not and before flying on to the next planet and we have 1000 immediately flying out perfect and that gives us this planet is now, for all intents and purposes, kind of complete. One of the things I need to check, did I, for all of these, make them export also remotely? Yes, I did. And they don't have drones, so it doesn't matter all that. Okay, now I need to go somewhere else. We have a few places I want to go to, but what I need to do now is start working on something big scale. Big scale, that means I need to go to Sabatron. Sabatron is here. That is our new location with the blue giant that's where we want to get a lot of energy and a lot of things that take a lot of energy so i'm gonna fly my way to sabaton one i should have the power i hope we'll see 
Okay, let's fly, 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 fly. Come on, lift off from the planet. There you go. I'm just. Sometimes you have to hold space to lift off to go to sail mode and then shift to accelerate when you're in sail mode. It's a bit com convoluted as for someone like me. And we are good. Fly. Fly away. So what do we want to do at Sabaton while we are just flying there? Well, first of all, we are obviously going to set up our hub. That's evident. We're going to name it. It's going to be called Gareth because Gareth is a super awesome patron supporter who's been supporting me for the longest time and also a lovely mod in the Twitch community. So thank you very much, Gareth, and uh, you will get your own planet. And knowing you well, you want it maroon because that's your color, I guess. And yeah, so thank you, patrons, for supporting. I'll uh, talk a bit about more, more about what we want to do when we get there. So let's go to cryosleep and wake up when we reach the destination. And here we are coming up on our planet. Let's see if we can find it. It is there. There it is. Let's see if we can steer towards it. Should be good. And we are coming in. Oh, where is it? There it is. There, there, hit it. Oh no, I can't even. It's, it's, it flies so fast that I am actually not getting caught in the thing. Okay, so as you can see, I cheated a bit because there's no point for me to land here and then go, all right, and now I'm gonna build the hub. I might as well just build the hub and then come back here. So what do we have here? We have a beautiful hub. It's completely ready to ready to get started. What do we have on this planet? We have a lot of things, but yet, oh, so fear gas at ocean. Yet there's just a few things that I don't have here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use this planet for much. I may put some miners here and there, but ultimately this is not where I want to do things. I might take some titanium, but I also might not. If we look at the total system here, 100,000, 128, 93, 68. We have some really good ones as well. And this one could be a really good miner. Look at that, all the iron and copper, just shoot. And titanium, really good mining planet. And then maybe take something like this one and make it into a, a smelting planet, for example. That would make sense, I think. But that's uh, not what we want to do here. We don't want to take any of this. What we want to do is we want to start industrializing this system. So now we have our home system. Homes would look good, but I need to industrialize this. The first step to industrializing is to build uh, to build some power that we can use for the entire location. That means starting up the Dyson Swarm. And as soon as the Dyson Sphere is done on our home system, then I am going to start redirecting rockets to this location. At this point in the game, we are working on scaling and scaling it goes in two directions. Scaling is both in terms of how fast and how many rockets and solar sails can you make. And the second dimension of scaling is about, see, I got a few of these. Um, the second dimension of scaling is about the science. So my target will be 12 rockets per second and 60 science per second. So basically twice as much as my previous base. And I can't do that until I get blueprints, obviously, but we can get started on some of these things. So let's figure out if I can, oh, I forgot to get uh, the maroon color. I'm gonna, yeah, pff, um, yeah. How am I gonna make a maroon color without help? I have no idea. I'll be back. Now that took an embarrassingly long time to find our maroon here is that even maroon yeah it's maroon that is maroon why was that embarrassingly long time because the code is 8 million or 80 million you should know these kind of things right and let's get some more of this so we can paste it come on click it click where is it there get that Right, so what we want to do is we want to make the EM rail guns, electromagnetic rail guns, I don't know, the, the rail guns, rail guns for shooting solar sails at the sun, that's what we need. And I will do that one, we don't need that. Ooh, that's a lot, that's a lot of annoying things. Okay, that's, it's problematic, I guess. Hmm. Yep, I think I'm gonna have to kill this. Oh no, I'm gonna regret this. Yep, yeah, I'm already full of remorse and regret, but eh, it is what it is. Let's uh, fill this up and then just try to figure out how and where and why and what I want to build. 
Right, where do we want to build? I want to get... There, right? There. Seems like a good location. This one. This is the outer lanes, I think. So I want four lanes. And let's get our rail guns. Right, do we take this? Oh. Okay, so how many do we want here, here, where are the real guns? There they are. 100, yeah, to get all of them. I need 200 for sure. Right, so I'm gonna get, this one is where it comes out from that location and then I need I need some space in the middle, otherwise I can't build it. I need it like this. That's good. Then the next one will be here. That's easy. And then it comes into this part where I need to figure out how close I can make it. It doesn't seem right, does it? I don't think that one is gonna be here. I think it actually has to go further out. Ah, that's not great. And then it has to be here and there. That's what I want. Then it takes up as much space as the one at the north at the north pole. This is the how much space the polar hub takes. So let's uh, accept that it takes as much space. Oh, look at the purple hue on everything around here. That one, that one, and that one. And then we look at here. I am not going to set it to outbound yet because then it will actually start sending it. I'm going to take here and here. Uh, now the biggest issue or question will be, can it be powered? Because that's always the problem. I think I'm gonna do it different from usual. Usually I take it from here and then go all the way around, but here I wanted to split it both sides. I think that's actually a better solution. And then at the end of the other side, I'll have, yeah, they won't meet at the other side or they will try, almost meet. And then I take these two together that's gonna be here and here. So I think that might be a better way of doing it. Go to that side, go to this side. Then the next thing we want to test is, can we build it with power poles? For that we need just a few of these. That one, yes. Oh no, what? Oh, wow, that's awful. That's really awful. So these have to be placed manually. Ouch. It's not good. But this can actually be... That's good. But this one is not good. Oh, well. Power poles. That's the only thing that matters at this point. Can I power this? Aha! Ah okay. The answer is yes. And that will actually fit quite nicely with that location. Yep. And down here, what is... Oh, also good. Also good. And... Oh, we'll just skip that one. And then I definitely need something in the middle so I can... Interesting that this is okay to build here, that these do not conflict. That's actually rather nice. I probably need to make sure that I can do... Well, actually, I won't need this one, or won't be allowed to have that one. But they will still connect. There, no. That one, that one, that one. They'll still connect, so I'll have a connection continuously. Cool. Now what I want to do is I want to make the two inner ones I guess we forgot this part. We are going to make an orbit. That orbit will be, let's see, I want it inside the orbit here. There was, there, there we go. That hits the orbit of the inner planet. We are on the inner planet, so I'm gonna make it 60,000. And I'm gonna just do that one. Let's give you one, another orbit, 60,000. Yes, I'm gonna do the same thing as I Yush did before. And I'm, that's no good, that's at the same location. So this is 180. They are now opposite, good. And the last one will also be 
60,000. And orbital inclination will be 90 maybe and 90. What would that be? That means this is a start, this is a start, and this is a start. Perfect. So we now have four orbits. The inner one up here will be orbit number two. And you know what? So will this one. They will be orbit number two. The two inner rings will be doing the same. The outer rings. Outer rings will be three and four. Yep, so let's uh, build that. Right, that can't be that difficult, can it? So this is done now and uh, we are ready to start shooting and that means from here we are going to get that one, that one, here, here and these will be requested remotely but within the same solar system because over at Partner I believe I am building these Angwas so they will be here and then I will get this output, that one. And we should start seeing the shooting going on. There is now going to be a little problem and that will be all of these firing up at the same time will probably draw more power than I have. Luckily, the whole idea of this is to get more power. So as they go out, yeah, that burned through everything pretty quickly. That's okay. Which, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll uh, find a solution for it. I'm uh, kind of thinking now that maybe I need more than one belt. But on the other hand, if I have one belt and I'm consuming one belt, then I'm probably happy that that's the speed that I'm going to be launching it at. Now, up here, there is another thing that I want to do. We're going to do that. We're going to make a little dash around. What? How? How is, how is that not a thing? Huh. Oh, uh, that's because the science probably, yeah. Okay, well, I'll get it eventually. So let's make this, all of this circle here marooned. So it goes all the way around. Why do we want to go all the way around? Because we need more power. And at this point, this is not going to be like a bit more power so that this can keep up, but it'll be a lot more power. So that a lot more power. Is only can only come from one location and that's gonna be the receivers that I don't have but they should be here and I'm gonna cut this one off and let's do 100 100 should be fine yeah receivers that should be super easy to make I might just be overdoing it by taking a full circle around don't care well I do care but this will give us all the power we need for this planet and basically I think that every planet should have like a little little circle like this that would be super happy and all the way back now I'm not gonna be taking any green dancers into these I don't think I need to and if I need to then I can just do it later on at this point this will be drawing and well let's look at our Dyson sphere there's a tiny bit of, of things coming out we're now in here Alright, so we've now done the power, we've done the Dyson Sphere, no, not the Dyson, the Dyson Sphere, but the Dyson Swarm that is ready. All of these, they're not shooting, that's just a matter of the turn of the, uh, of the Earth, not the Earth, but the planet. And one more thing, there's one last thing we want to do on this one, and this is just to show you why I want to make this 
why I'm focusing so much on power on this planet. Uh, let me see. I need to find uh, somewhere. Oh, wow. I did not build that one. Huh. Weird. Uh, I think I want to build it here. Yeah, that seems like a good location. Let's uh, tap this. This location. Unfortunately, it's a bit on the dark side. Oops. Yep. Easy. Get more. We probably need to add more concrete production sometime soon. There. And I am going to need this to s identify my meridians. That one is not there. Okay. That's my meridian here. That one. Good. Now what is it I want to make here? I want to make rockets. And I'm actually going to make it in the reverse order. So instead of making all the subcomponents, I'm going to start by saying, I want rockets. How do I make rockets? I make them with some ninja stars. I make them with some deuterium fuel. And I make them with some quantum chips. And we absolutely probably maybe need some warpers here. Actually, we might not. Uh. So then I need to start looking at how would I make this? It's probably the best place to start working on it. And we are going to get... So I want... I did mention before that I wanted 12. This is 6. So if I take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 6. That's going to be 1.5 per second. So let me take 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's going to be 3 per second. And then 4 of those lines. Perfect. And that's going to be as easy and can as can be so i am going to get out here deuterium fuel that one and let's take it one out i do like that go back here then the ninja stars nope the ninja stars here and then this one Quantum chips. That one. And one more row. One, one, two, three. And then I take the deuterium fuel. And then return. On the other side. I am going to take quantum chips. And the other one was ninja stars there get a full row uh, nope. oh, all of it is misplaced there and the outer one will then be let me see then the first one will be the turn one turn and unfortunately that means I need to get on the back side here Oop. right Looks correct. And all we need now is hook it up. Let's see. How are we going to do that? That will be inbound, 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 inbound. All right. So far, so good. And let's take this one. In, out, in, out. Now this one copies here. This one copies here, and then it copies back. Yep. 12. Uh, basically, 3 per second, 3 per second, 3 more per second, and 3 more per second. So that is 12. And let me get some power balls. Let's get it there. And the whole thing is not working because I'm not even connecting it there. I'm going to make sure that it gets connected both sides. There we go. All right. So this is obviously not going to work because I have none of these. But if I also look at it, if I have 12 
per second and I need 24 per second of the ninja stars each of the ninja stars if we look at them require three of uh, the frames so 24 times three that's 72 I need 72 of the frames per second so you can see things are scaling up and they are getting pretty big and I can't build I'm gonna build it here that means I need a lot of power but also I not only do I need a lot of power and infrastructure um, yeah so so that's I also need to copy the same things many times so this project is one of those projects that I'd really like to get on with but I can't or I don't want to get on with it until we have blueprints so that's gonna be uh, what we can do for this one the one thing though that should be done at this point is just to go back and set up some some plane smelters so that we have those but you know that's pretty simple it's just uh, getting one of those i'm actually going to be not using the artificial suns at all in this series so my hub location that's been designed for artificial suns could just be uh, reconstructed or repurposed for this one i think that would be good wow is it 13 light years wow that's a lot Anyway, that's something I can do because that's just a single thing. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and uh, if you feel like supporting, then yeah, Patreon is the way to support the channel. But of course, no obligation. I hope that you just uh, enjoy yourself, have fun, maybe learn a thing or two and enjoy this Let's Play as it continues into the mega basing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and stay effective.